All right, guys, I'm, I'm coming with a new video series, something that's uh, very passionate to me. I recently picked up some VHS tapes, and while I did get some things that are currently available in all formats just to have something to watch, I started hunting down things that have never been released in any other format. Uh, there's a, a, a very big percentage of VHS tapes that never made the crossover to DVD or Blu-ray. Like your big movies, like your your Gone with the Wind, your your Ben Hur's, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that made the leap. But there's a lot of smaller films that, for whatever reason, have never made the jump to any format. And I figured it'd be kind of fun to show those off. Um, first one up that I've got here, I'm gonna show off. This is called Stooge Mania. It's known as Party Stooge Overseas, and. I've so got some wear here, unfortunately. And this is a former video rental from a place called the Video Checkout. So, neat to have. Now, this was directed by Chuck Workman. It's an 83 minute film. It came out in June of 86. Now, the one thing I couldn't find was the, the money that it made. It just can find any information whatsoever. I mean, that's just how obscure this movie is. Stories, uh, the star is Josh Mostel, Mostel, which was Zero Mostel's son. They do favor each other a little bit, but uh, Zero was a, a better better actor. Uh, you have Sid Caesar in this. Um, Melanie Chartoff, which is plays his uh, fiance. You also get and James Avery in the small role and a couple other uh, people you might know like Mark Holston who's of course most famous for Pee Wee's Big Adventure Leprechaun the first Leprechaun film and Armin Sherman I believe is how you say his name who was Quark on uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine which is his uh, big claim to fame uh, and just of the movie is Josh plays Howard F. Howard, which is a nice little nostalgia thing for Howard Fine and Howard, which were the Stooges. So, you know, Mo Howard, Larry Fine, Curly Howard, or Shemp Howard. And he, he grows up, he, he has a love for the Three Stooges. I mean, just an absolute love. He, he loves them, watches them all the time. But it comes to a point where it becomes like an obsession. And his obsession. It's not just him, other people are getting affected by it to the point where there's clinics that have been created to help try to cure people of these Three Stooges obsession. It's getting to the point where it's affecting his life. He's getting ready to get married. It's, it's having a strain. It, it's, uh, he loses his job. And in between what he sees, um, you get clips of the film. So either he's watching them on television or, or he opens a door and they're in the room. It, it's neat how they took the public domain shorts and they kind of put them into the film in a way where they could be used. Now, this had no involvement from Columbia whatsoever, which uh, Columbia ha had the, the full rights of, of the Three Stooges. However, using the public domain shorts, they could get away with this. And a reason this was done is in the 80s, due to airing on TBS, the Three Stooges... Had, uh, went through a com complete resurgence in popularity. I mean, they, they were being shown daily. I remember coming home from school watching them. It was a fun time for me. And when this film got made, this this was you know, this was a big deal. I mean, you've got you're going to see some of the three stages on the big screen. Of course, it's, again, it's just the public domain shorts, and they try to recreate some of that slapstick in this movie, even down to the point of recreating scenes from the fit from some of those three stages films does it work not always it doesn't but it's still fun i mean uh as far as i'm concerned i mean three three out of five as far as holding up but it's still neat to see because for like i said this has never made the leap to any format maybe it's something paramount wants to forget i don't know but I'm, I'm happy to have this in my collection because this meant a lot to me when i was a kid this used to get it aired on like HBO all the time 
I remember watching it, and this is the first time I've ever owned it. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool find. But that's all I got, guys. Uh, I will link a trailer below. Uh, it's gonna you're probably gonna see the name Party Stooge, which is the overseas name, Stooge Mania here in the U.S. Because it's the only thing I can find. But at least you kind of get an idea of what it was like. All right, take care and go watch a movie.